Hello everyone, Mary Rose here at Stitch Bliss Corner on the July the 12th, 2020. And I hope this video finds you all doing well uh, and uh, getting along okay. Um, things are fairly quiet in this neck of the woods, as per usual. <laughs> and uh, I did go to my daughter's house this week and um, we watched her wedding video from well, a few years back now uh, <laughs> and uh, that was great fun to watch that uh, she honoured us by well they did as a couple honoured us by marrying in the same church that we did um, and it, it was such a beautiful day it was just lovely the sky was clear blue and the church wasn't far from the reception venue. It was only over the road from it. So it was like um, uh, an English village wedding in a way. Uh, so it's very, very lovely. And uh, uh, yeah, so that was lovely this week. What else did I get up to? Um well, I've been stitching a lot, like a train. Um, now, I did say in a recent video anyway that <laughs> I was going to try... It. I was going to stitch across the divide, um, you know, take a week to do that, um, and every now and again in order to keep going with that, but everything got tossed overboard as it happened uh, for this stitch that I'm doing uh, be still my soul uh, uh, and uh, I just haven't been able to put it down I haven't wanted to put it down that's the point um, and uh, thank to uh, thank you to everyone who made comments about this piece this remarkable piece um, uh, it was lovely to hear people's views and their thoughts and um, some of them were sharing their faith and everything. And it got me thinking because for a long, a large part of my life, I used to, because I'm such a logical person, I suppose you'd say, um, I considered Jesus to be a great historical figure, if you will. Um, and... I thought he was an amazing person, was in the past tense. <laughs> uh, and that's the way I tended to, to look at him. And it wasn't until later in life uh, that I really did start to feel in a different way about him. Uh, now, I did mention in my previous video uh, that I was concerned about the colour, uh, the darkness of uh, the shades in Jesus's face as compared to the painting. And some were saying, well, you know, that's okay because um, he was, you know, came from that region and uh, that's what he would have looked like. Um, and I sort of have a different point of view there and I thought that I would just share that with you um, but I guess the best thing to do first is to go to the stages of the stitching so that you can see where I'm up to and then I will get back to my discussion uh, when you have seen the stages so we'll go to that now
Uh, so um, I'll show you my stitching shortly but I, I just thought I'd make this short because I am not someone usually that talks about my faith um, I've mentioned it in passing I've done over a hundred videos now and I think it's been mentioned well, what three or four times tops <laughs> it's just the subject matter of this uh, particular stitching lends itself to me talking about this uh, but generally speaking I don't really say much it might pop into you know if I'm just talking in a video and something naturally pops up but I don't say a lot about it um, but in this case I think when we were talking about the how Jesus looked or looks um, I just thought about how Moses went up the mountain and was conversing with God and he wanted to see God's glory and God basically said well you can't see that because no man can see that and live uh, but I will put you in the crevice of a rock I'll put my hand over the crevice as I walk past and you can see the back of me and so really, when, when they say that no one has seen God, that's really not true. Moses did. He just saw the back. <laughs> um, but the point of the matter is that when Moses came down from the mountain to the, to the people, the radiance on his face was so bright that they couldn't look at him. And he had to have a veil over his face in order for people to be able to even look his way. That's how bright the radiance and the glory of God was. And so then we come to Jesus. Now, according to the Christian beliefs anyway, Jesus is God's son. Therefore, he wouldn't have looked like anyone else. This is what I feel. You know, it was the Immaculate Conception. Therefore, I mean, people used to flock to Jesus. He performed miracles. Uh, he was someone that you only had to look at him and basically you were hooked, you know. Um, so therefore, he didn't look like anyone else. And because he didn't or doesn't, then Jesus can look however you see Jesus to be, whatever tone, from one to whatever, it doesn't, it's the radiance um, 
that touches you. It's the radiance that gives you that feeling of comfort and warmth and everything else. And there's a song that I will link below that uh, is really lovely. And for anyone who wants to listen to it, it's got the lyrics as well. And it's a beautiful song, Darlene Check um, from Hillsong. There are two versions, but this is the one that I like. Anyway, so I thought I would just uh, put forward how I think, you know, I think people, because we're human, we tend to think that someone is going to look a person a certain way because that's how they look from that region. But because I think they're forgetting that it, Jesus is God's son, so therefore he's not going to look like anyone else. Um, and that's bottom line. Um, and that's in the faith there. You know, uh, now a lot of people would probably feel, well, you know, if they don't believe that that happened to Mary, then they're not going to get very much further with it. And they go on their own way of what they think, which is fine. You know, you, you find your truth your own way. That's the point. Um, what's true for me might not be true for you, but it doesn't make my truth any less or your truth any less. Uh, each to God his own way. I think that's what it boils down to. <laughs> anyway, I shall just show you one more thing. Um, this is Michelangelo's sculpture of Moses, and it pretty much shows... Here's Moses here. There. Now, when he came down from the mountain, when he'd seen the glory, can you see those two horn-like things on the top of his head? Now, they're not in any way uh, connected to the devil or anything like that. It's nothing to do with that. It was the fact that when Moses came down, because he was so bright and everything, people said it almost looked like he had horns coming out of his head. Um, and that is where that came from. So if ever you're wondering why he's got those, that's why, not because of anything else. So I just thought you might be interested in that because I don't think a lot of people, um, really, uh, even historians, um, get to the bottom of why he's got those uh, but now you know all right so i think that's all i was going to say about that um, and i will now get to the stitching now here's mark missman's beautiful portrait of how he sees uh, jesus um, and that's the picture that i took and we made a chart for it using a computer program. And this is on uh, 20 count, 150 different colours there, and 20 count Ada, it's on. Now, last, I, well, you've seen where I was up to uh, anyway, so you know I've made a lot of progress. Uh, so I just thought I'd show you the stitching. Now, Harlequin said I should have ironed it, which, yeah, maybe I should have, but never mind. I'll do that later, because I always, with my stitching, I always wash it at the end to set the stitches anyway, and then I iron it and stretch it out and everything. So here he is. Um, and that sky... It's just beautiful. Uh, I think it's... See, that's the background, as I've said before, is single thread, full cross. And Jesus is double thread, full cross. So it's, it's thicker stitching. And because it's thicker, uh, the stitches aren't going to be um, uniform or anything like that. But that's fine by me. I mean, it's stitching. 
and stitching is an inexact science. Um, it's going to, it's going to vary. It's going to um, all your different characteristics in your fabric and your threads. You know, some threads are thinner than others, um, and so on and so forth. But I mean, that's that's the beauty of it. It makes it unique. It makes it. Well, no, there's no other one in the world like it. You know, that's the point. In all your stitching, even if you sat there next to someone and they used the exact same uh, threads and, and fabric that you use, you still, they're still going to look different. And, uh, you know, I think that's something that is quite remarkable in this day and age, that you can actually create something that is like no other anywhere else. Um, just keep on and on this morning, don't I? <laughs> anyway, so that's where I'm up to. Uh, so halfway is just about here somewhere. So I've still got the beautiful ocean and everything else to go to. And I can tell you that doing that sky was just so enjoyable um, just to see all those different colours coming in. Um, I'm just thinking... Get a bit closer there for some of this. Yeah, it's very hard to, you know, if you if you get close up, you can see all the different tones in there, but it's very hard to um, actually focus on any one spot. Um, now, what was I going to? Oh, a little tip for you: if you have a whole lot of threads that are a similar colour, I have shown this before, but I thought I'd just do it again just in case somebody didn't see whenever I did it in my video. Um, I, If I've got, say, 945, 948, you know, the pink colours um, all together, and I don't want to tie off for a while in case I've missed it and across, because that's very annoying when you think you've done all of a particular colour and then you realise that you didn't stitch one. So sometimes I just put the thread off to the side and uh, wait until I finish that area so um, so that I know which color it is I just have a little little thing container here with little uh, squares of paper and so I just put the the color on there and then I put the needle through and I just have it hanging there on the fabric and then when I go back to it I know exactly the color so that's very good for parking too, you know, if you've got four or five similar colours. If you mark them, well, you know, you're not going to get mixed up. So I just thought I'd throw that in just for good measure. <laughs> uh, now, was there anything else I had to tell you? Um, well, hmm. I suppose I'll just finish off, uh, seeing as I've gone down this path, I may as well, you know, finish it off. Um, when you read about people who have had cardiac arrests, in other words, they, they, they're dead, and then they get resuscitated afterwards. Now, the ones that um, do recall things, they say that, they're going through it. They feel like they're going through a tunnel and there's a bright light at the end of it. And I kind of think, well, that's interesting because in ancient times, nobody knew anything about being resuscitated and all that sort of thing. So, how, you know, it's interesting that God is associated with that really bright light. And when these people have had these experiences, they describe the same thing. And pretty much everyone I've read about, they've all not been afraid of dying, whereas before they had been. And what a what a wonderful thing to contemplate then. Um, so anyway, uh, I think that's all I was going to say. I know I've been a bit deep in this, and I won't be like this again. It's just... Uh, there were a few comments that I thought, well, I would like to respond to those, um, and which I think I have. Um, and now I, I 
just wish everyone well again until next time. I mean, I may well uh, not do another video until I've completed this piece. Um, and, you know, it'll probably take me a month or six weeks or so, um, maybe a bit more. Uh, depends on confetti because of course everybody knows confetti slows you right down you know <laughs> you're flying along and then suddenly ee, the brakes go on when you've got a lot of confetti but that's always when there's something interesting happening so you know that's great uh all right well i shall leave you all now and uh i'll catch you a little bit later on so take care of yourselves uh until next time from mary rose goodbye <laughs>